And you're listening to the beautiful sounds of the new artistic director of the Carolina Youth Symphony, Simone Goyo. There are some big things happening with the symphony, and we're joined by um, some people to tell us about that. We have Dr. Claire Stan with us as well. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. We appreciate it. Thank beautiful you. playing. Thank you. Congratulations on the, the new artistic director. Uh, for folks who are unfamiliar with the Carolina Youth Symphony, I only know because going to Furman, they would be rehearsing <laughs> in, the, in the auditorium all the time. But I explain what the Carolina Youth Symphony is. Well, this is an organization that has been there for over 60 years. Yeah, a long time. And, uh, well, we have uh, three orchestras, now four actually, mm -hmm. with, uh, with a preparatory orchestra, and we have with a big history concerts every year, the Peace Center, Furman, and we have been working for this community for a very long time, and I'm sure my friend here can speak more. About and it's it. a regional too, so from all different cities and schools? Yes, so, so we have students really ranging in, in grades from third to 12th grade. Uh, we have students from all over the state as well as Western North Carolina, and mm -hmm. we've been providing orchestral training and performance opportunities to them. Uh, we're coming into our 70th year um, this fall. I mean, that's exciting to be able to have something that gets young people, young musicians excited to be able to play with people from all over, yeah. all over the state. So you guys have a couple of big events coming up. One of them is Bring Your Instrument and Play Day. We do. <laughs> so that's coming up this Sunday, April 21st. And it's an opportunity for young musicians to bring their instruments, be able to sort of test it out, right? Get the experience, a feel for it. Uh, we do require registration for that just so we can prepare, make sure we have sufficient seating. Uh, there is a link on our website as well as in our bio on Instagram if you're interested in registering for that. Uh, we also, for those who just fall in love with the symphony after that date, as we know they will, there are going to be auditions May 12th and 19th. Also on our website, there's a link to sign up for auditions and on Instagram. Awesome. And, and that event that's coming up on Sunday is at the Daniel Music Building at Furman University. 120 to 430, that's the kind of the time frame depending on which group you're in? Exactly. So oh. when you register, uh, we will be able to kind of place you in an orchestra. And so the time frame, that's the overall time frame. And then we'll be able to place you in an orchestra from there. Awesome. And then you guys have auditions coming up too, so people can audition for this. Yes, you? absolutely. So as mentioned, May 12th and 19th, we will have two different dates. And so people can sign up. We have our um, audition excerpts listed on our website so you can see what would be expected of you during the audition. So if you have a young person that's interested in music looking for a new place to play, maybe the Carolina Youth Symphony is the place to do that. CarolinaYouthSymphony.org is the website to go in and check out. And Simone, we're going to let you play us out to break. We're going to go this way and let you, you play. Everyone enjoy the sounds of the new artistic director of the Carolina Youth Symphony, uh, Simone Goyo. <laughs> 